bestgeekblogever.com. Hey geeks, Easy Gutierrez for bestgeekblogever.com and host of the Film Geeks podcast here in front of the camera this time to bring you a very cool review. Uh, generally, when I get sent cool stuff, I'll usually tweet about it, I usually put it on our Facebook page, and that's pretty much as far as it goes. And in some cases, I'll write a review or mention it on the podcast. Uh, but these things, these two cool things in front of me, I felt deserved a little bit more. And really the only way I feel like you can capture how awesome these things are is, is to get in front of the camera. Uh, the awesome people at Titan Books sent us over these two really interesting collection books that I thought I'd share with you today. One of them is really close to my heart. Jaws is my favorite movie of all time. Jaws fans really have a lot to celebrate. This year we got the remastered Blu-ray of Jaws. The, the special features on that Blu-ray disc are incredible. and. There's no shortage of history of behind the scenes uh, features that showcase the making of Jaws. I mean, you can go anywhere to find that stuff. What I have here in front of me is called, it's huge, by the way, Jaws Memories from Martha's Vineyard. How huge that thing is. Paperback, very cool. Martha's Vineyard is an island off of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. It's more famous for rich people's vacation homes, but uh, a long time ago, a young Jewish director basically took over that island, giving us the very first Hollywood uh, summer blockbuster in the form of Jaws. Uh, this book tells the tale of the people who reside on Martha's Vineyard and who were extras and who were paid to help in the crew. This book is those people's first-hand accounts of the making of Jaws. So you've got all kinds of really cool behind-the-scenes pictures that you really can't get from anywhere else. Um, Polaroids and newspaper clippings from that time when the production was on site. One of my favorite ones, uh, on page 150 you can see this very, very cool uh, process of the orca being built. Somebody, a local photographer, came in, came into the building and started snapping all these photos. Kind of cool photos of the shark as well. Obviously, you can never get enough of Bruce. Here's Roy Scheider, page 188. Uh, being generally just kind of a badass. Roy Scheider is awesome. Gotta love Sheriff, Sheriff Brody. Some explosions. A lot of people's first-hand accounts of being an extra or being hired to be part of the crew uh, that you can't really get from any of those big Hollywood documentaries. This is awesome. Uh, the book retails for like 50 bucks, uh, but it's out on September 25th. Amazon, I think you can grab it for like 26 bucks. This is a this is a really cool collection for the diehard Jaws fans. And in fact, stay tuned because we're going to be doing a Jaws commentary on the Film Geeks podcast, and I will definitely have this. Uh, with me as we do that so again it's called jaws memories of martha's vineyard again the first hand account of the citizens of martha's vineyard during the filming and production of jaws cool way to wrap up the summer i think if you got the blu-ray uh, if you went out and got the blu-ray this is a very cool companion piece definitely makes for some really cool shelf presents put it on your coffee table uh people will definitely flip through it i mean it's incredible the second thing, not so near and dear to my heart, but just as cool, um, I, I would be lying to you if I said that I had ever read a Flash Gordon comic book before getting this book. You know, besides the Queen song, I can't honestly tell you that I know much about the character. But uh, Titan Books again sent over this hardback collection, Flash Gordon, on the planet Mondo, all the Sunday comics from 1934 to 1937. Every Sunday, each page represents a Sunday right here, May 13th, 1934. Next one, May 20th, 1934. This is probably one of the most impressive things I've seen in a long time. Beautiful colors. Uh, this is the story of him being on Planet Mongo, basically becoming Flash Gordon. The I will say one of the things I found most interesting uh, about the story is they really were meant to be read a week apart from each other. Uh, I found myself really, uh, not so much having a hard time with it, but if you read them back to back to back each page just continuously, it's intense. I mean, every single week there's this epic story, amazing characters, some of the creature designs on here are just so incredible. Ahead of its time I think is a really good way to sum up this storyline and this character in general. I mean, some of these, look at this page here. This is a particular favorite panel of mine. I think I tweeted it uh, when I first got the book. This like incredible squadron of spaceships and this one breaking off to like take out these uh, these creatures. Impressive. I mean, every single week this incredible adventure in only like 12 panels. 
Uh, that's something that you don't see that often. Just like, you've got to get so much on the page and not overwhelm the reader. Catch them up if they haven't been reading along, and you can only do it in one page. Um, really, really impressive. Again, beautiful, beautiful thing to put on your coffee table, up in your room somewhere, up on a shelf cabinet next to all these books. Uh, it's got a really cool introduction by Alex Ross. Uh, you can't beat that. Uh, this is, uh, again, this is also out the same day as the Jaws book, uh, September 25th. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, this is one of those things that if you don't, if you're a Flash Gordon fan, uh, you need to own. And I'm not a Flash Gordon fan. Oh, I am now because this book is incredible. Um, this is just one of those things that people should own. Anybody who has ever read or been interested in Flash Gordon should definitely get their hands on this. This is very cool. Thank you to the awful, wonderful people at uh, Titan Books. Tom Green, thank you so much for sending these to us. That's it. Uh, go to bestgeekblogever.com. Thanks for watching.